In the last video, we went over important facts about the oxidative permanent hair dyes. In this video, we're going to go over another type of permanent hair dye. Progressive hair coloring is a method of applying the hair dye repeatedly over time. With each application, your hair gets darker and darker. It builds up gradually until you reach your desired amount of color. Progressive hair coloring can only be used to darken natural hair color, not lighten. And it's mostly used to cover grays. Progressive hair dyes are free of ingredients like peroxide and ammonia, but contain ingredients that are just as toxic and highly harmful to any live tissue. The main ingredient in a progressive hair dye is lead accutate. When applied, lead accutate reacts with the sulfur compounds in the hair. Contact with the air causes it to oxidize. The progressive colorant creates a tint of dark pigment that coats and somewhat penetrates parts of the hair shaft. As the hair dries, it transforms into a layer of a synthetic pigment that slightly changes the color of your hair. The more you use it, the more this hardened layer stacks on itself causing the color to darken and darken. Also, did you know lead accutate was also used in paints as a glosser improver and a drying agent before it was banned in 1978 for fatally and permanently poisoning people, especially children? Also, the use of lead accutate was banned in cosmetics by Health Canada in 2005 and by the European Union. It has also been on the California Proposition 65 warning list since 1988. All for the same reason, lead accutate is considered a carcinogen, which by definition is a substance capable of directly causing cancer to live tissue. We've gone over the two types of permanent hair dyes in detail. Before you plan on changing up your style by permanently coloring your hair, make sure you watch the last video and this video so you have a better understanding of exactly what's going on. Here are the links. Remember, the more informed you are, the better decisions you make. In the next few videos, we'll move on and go over what's really going on when you use quote unquote less harsher options like demi and semi permanent hair dyes, temporary hair dyes like a rinse, and alternative hair dyes like henna. This video has a good amount of information, so save it and use it as a reference to brush up on knowledge. Share it and start a conversation. As always, thanks for watching. See you next video.